my name is Edward, and right now I'll be going over 12304, target six. So the question says, at a small movie theater, three families, each consisting of a father, a mother, and a child, sit in three rows of three people each. However, it is dark inside, so each person randomly picks an available seat. Compute the probability that at least one row has a father, a mother, and a child. Express your answer as a common fraction. So for convenience, we'll call a row complete if it has a father, a mother, and a child. So notice that if two rows are complete, then the third row will also be complete. This is kind of similar to how if you have five uh, complete sides of a Rubik's cube, the sixth, the sixth side will have to be uh, correct as well. So that's a little something to think about. But um, from here, we can proceed by casework since we know that we must have either exactly one complete row or three complete rows. So if we have one complete row, we ju will just multiply that probability by three, and then we'll add to that the probability of all three rows being complete. So to find the first probability, we want the probability that a given row is complete. For example, the first seat in the row can be filled by anyone, and then the second seat in the row has to be filled by someone who is not of the same role. So if, for example, the father was in the first seat, then there's only three mothers and three children left for the second seat, so that would be six out of eight. And then similarly, we have three out of seven. And we can compute this by taking nine over nine times six over eight times three over seven. So the probability is nine out of 28. And the probability that all three are complete is we just continue the pattern for the second row. And re remember that if two rows are complete, then the third has to be complete. So we can just uh, stop the multiplication there to get that this is nine out of 70. So then that means that the probability that exactly one row is complete is just the difference of the two. So 9 out of 28 minus 9 out of 70. And we can just substitute this back in so that the probability that we want is 3 times this difference plus 9 over 70, which is the probability that all the rows are complete. And we can just do some algebra and show that this is equal to 99 out of 140. Hi, everybody. This is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.